So I want to provide some context for uh, how this mission did compared to previous missions. So if we could go to the, the Alignia Ellipse graphic. What we're looking at here is a, a topography map of Gale Crater. You can see Mount Sharp right there in the middle of the crater. You can see our Curiosity Ellipse, the smallest ellipse right there, on the, uh, just north of the, the slopes of Mount Sharp. Um, but let's back up a little bit. I mean, in the 1970s, we had the two Viking landers. They landed in different parts of Mars, not here. <laughs> but we got their landing ellipse, the uncertainty of where they would land. Um, sort of provided here for scale. And you can see it's a very large area. I mean, part of that was due to the atmosphere uncertainties. Uh, this is the first time we landed on Mars. We knew very little about what the atmosphere would really do. Um, and the, the landers did quite well. They both land, landed successfully. Then it was, uh, unfortunately, several decades before we returned to Mars with a lander. And then Pathfinder, the rover that could, uh, landed um, uh, with a smaller ellipse. But it, it didn't use a lift and entry. It came in more like a cannonball, a spinning cannonball. But over the years, with Spirit and Opportunity and Phoenix, we were able to reduce those landing areas even better. And a lot of that's due to the, um, the hard work of our interplanetary navigation team to further pinpoint the entry point in the atmosphere. So what was then dominating a lot of the dispersion was what the atmosphere did and how the vehicle actually flew. And so what Curiosity did here is we basically built on top of all those improvements to make that even, even better. 